Hey everybody. Um, I usually do epilepsy awareness videos, but I'm just doing a little something right now because um, I'm really sad. Uh, I just found out a few days ago that my neurologist that I've had for 14 years passed away. He was a very good neurologist and it took a long time to find him. And uh, I'm just a little overwhelmed right now by it, just because for 14 years, I've seen him every three months. And I don't think people realize that when you have a disability, it takes a long time to find a great team of doctors. A very long time. I went through so many doctors just to find the team for all the different special specialists that I see. And uh, I had a great team. He was part of that team. In fact, he started the team because I almost died, I say 14 years ago when he first became my doctor. I was in and out of the hospital. Another neurologist had me, I'm not going to say his name, had me on a different medication and it was killing me because I was obviously allergic to it, but he told me it was just side effects. And it wasn't. And I just remember Dr. Richard Lee, I'm going to keep saying his name because he's fantastic and I really miss him already. Um, he came in and he got me off and told me, put me on everything old school that I was on as a child. And it just, uh, from that day on, it was like, I thought of him as like my lifesaver, you know, and see him every three to six months. And you do, like I said, you develop relationships with your doctor where they know everything about you. They know what works for you and they know everything you're going through and you know it's year after year after year you find you know my other specialists so they were all kind of working together and yeah I just I thought my last visit that he seemed a little sick but I don't think he wanted anybody to know in fact the office won't even tell me because I had surgery and when I had to go get the okay from the neurologist and he was out of the office, they wouldn't tell me why. But apparently he had a stroke and I did not know this at the time. I thought he just disappeared and I was like, oh my God, he abandoned me. But he didn't. So uh, I just wanted everybody to know how great of a doctor he was and how much he will be missed by not just me, by many. He was a doctor for years. He was in his 70s and he wanted to practice till the day he died because he was determined to help people with neurological issues. And um, he really did do it till he died. And I know he died doing what he loved, but he will be missed by so many. Some of the patients have had him even longer. His, uh, the doctor that I have now that worked in the office with him told me that some people have had them for 30 years and uh, when they were little and it's just like wow I feel like I have to start over again I feel like I lost a family member because you know what he was my family he was my my brain doctor my brain family you know being having a disability you you your doctors become your family they're like the ones that you can go to that are helping you live you know I mean he helped me live if it wasn't for him I would probably not have been alive right now I would have probably died on that other medication in the hospital and uh, took several hospital stays and he was still working on things and I know I still had a long way to go but I mean he was nice enough to take his time out and he did an interview that I made for everybody um, that is on my YouTube channel and I'll probably post that soon also but um you know he took the time out of his day to do an, a whole 15 minute interview with me and you know and I'm so glad that I had the chance to hug him and tell him thank you and that tell him that he saved my life and he smiled and I gave him a hug and you know I watch that video now and it just makes me cry and then I just think god why why is it that when I started getting better you know, that it's like, it's almost like losing a dad, you know, and I know he was loved by many and I just want everybody to know how hard it is to lose somebody like that.
and how great he was. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'm probably going to go cry again because it's just hard. Thanks. Thanks.